Hey guys, Cody Carpenter here with yaksmag.com. I posted a blog posting yesterday about making a DIY homemade camp stove. Uh, then I had a lot of questions about does it work, does it work, and uh, it's untested so far. So today I have it ready. We're going to give her a test today and see. What I brought today is I have two different stoves that I made. I have one, they're both made out of uh, fossil watch tins. The first one here is just uh, dryer lint, cardboard, and wax. And the second one is wax, cardboard, and I have some cut up actual uh, fire starter in there um, and the wax. So we're going to test them both, see how they work, may or may not, but we're going to give it a try today. I plan to use the lid of the tin as the top of my stove. Now today for I have two different stoves and I have two different lids. The first one is just going to be I just cut straight slits in it. We're going to see how that works. And the next one, I use my pocket knife and I poked holes in it. So we'll see which one's going to work, which one's not. So the first one I'm going to try is the cardboard dryer lint and wax without the fire starter <coughs> with the lid with just the holes poked in it. First I'm going to try my, my Bear Grylls Gerber fire starter first and see how this works. First try. So we've got a little fire going. The lint catches really well, catches a spark really well. Let's see if I can't get a spark going on the other side. There we go, now we've got. All right, so we're going pretty good here now. Okay, camp stove, go for good heat. I can see the wax melting in there. It's going pretty well. Now, put the lid on. I can still see the flames in there, and we're going to see if it'll boil water. Let's see how long it takes. One thing I was really worried about was after I put the lid on, would it make the flames go out? But you can see that's not much of an issue. I've got really good flames coming out all sides. She's working pretty well. All right, we're going on here about five or six minutes now. Uh, still not boiling, still got flames going pretty well in there. The water is hot. It's hot, it's just not boiling yet. All right, so going about 15 minutes or so now. Uh, flames still going, barely. Still got a little flame in there. Not quite boiling yet. We got the bubbles on the bottom. A Couple of bubble, bubbles have risen to the surface, but we're not quite boiling yet although we're here at about 15 minutes the flame is still going pretty good um, I haven't had to relight it one thing I do wish I had done is I wish I'd come down here and poke holes for airflow along the bottom of the tin which is something I'd planned to do but I didn't do it before I kind of got in a rush to get this going so still waiting to see the fire still going we'll see how long it takes to get boiled stand all right, so the fire's starting to go out. Doesn't look like we're gonna quite get to a boil on this one, but um, you can see there's still quite a lot of material to still be burned in there. Uh, I'm sure if I gave it a little more time, it would get to a boil, but I have not had to relight it. Um, I have had to kind of blow in it a little bit to get the to keep it going. But like I said, if I would have put the air holes on the bottom, I know it would have worked better. So I will consider that uh, on the next time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, test 2 will be coming soon. Hey guys, Cody Carpenter here with yaksmac.com. Uh, my test number 2 for the DIY camp stove. Uh, last time I just had my 
fossil watch tin uh, with some, some uh, wax, some dryer lint, and some cardboard. Burned well for about 20 minutes, then it kind of died down. Brought the water almost to boiling, but not quite to a rolling boil yet. This time is test number two. I've got my tin. This time I did what I meant to do on the other one, but I didn't, was poke the holes in the bottom for some airflow. This one's got some cut up uh, fire log, the candle wax, the cardboard, and some dryer lint in there just to take the spark to get it started. So uh, here we are with test number two. So here we go. The dryer lint gets the spark, gets it started. Then I kind of get it around the wax, kind of get the flame going a little. Hopefully, this one will do better, burn longer than the other one. And I got a little camp treat ready to go to test this one out. So again, I was able to use my Bear Grylls magnesium fire starter so I didn't have to use matches or a lighter. Uh, I never had to relight the other one. So at least I know that can get it going without matches or light. All right, so this time we've got a fire going. I've got my little camp pan on there. And we're gonna try to cook a little Spam. See how it works actually trying to cook something other than just lighting a fire. So we'll check back in a minute and see how it's going. All right, so we're back up here. Came to check on the Spam. Uh, Everything's burning really well, got a good flame. I think the lid makes a really good uh, top to the stove. Holds everything really well. Pan's hot, <laughs> pan's hot. So hopefully we'll get some, uh, some nice fried Spam here in a minute. So we're really rocking and rolling now. We've got a good flame. You can see the holes on the bottom are actually venting, so they're doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, so I think that was a really big improvement. And this thing, man, is just getting super hot and burning super strong right now. Uh, really happy with it. It's doing its job. It's cooking the Spam. Who doesn't love Spam, right? All right, guys, so right now I can already see that this stove works a whole lot better than the other one. Uh, right now we've got some sizzling Spam. Uh, flame is burning really good. It's gotten a lot hotter than the other stove. Now it could be because of the fire log that's cut up in there or it could be because I actually put the holes on the bottom to give it more airflow. I'm not really sure but I know that this one definitely works better and I'll be going with this version from now on. So we're really rocking and rolling now on the homemade camp stove. Right now the spam going. It's actually sizzling. Uh, we've got a still got a steady flame going. It's burning really hot. The holes at the bottom, I can tell, are a big improvement. Um, and I think the fire log that's cut up inside of it has really made a big difference as well as far as keeping the fire going. I'm really happy with this. I'm really pleased to know that I can make a homemade camp stove for under $10 that'll last a while and actually cook food and do what it's supposed to do. Uh, I just keep this in the front dry hatch of my kayak and uh, it looks like I'm good to go whenever I need uh, to cook a meal on the go. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Check out more at yaksmac.com.